Hello and welcome to the Concestry of the Coelk YouTube channel. I'm your host for this video, Reverend Jake Zabel, the St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church located in Dolby, Queensland, Australia. This is our video series, Ask the Concestry, in which we address listener questions. And this is my series within the series in which I've been addressing the question on closed communion. This is our 11th and final part on this topic. If you would like to learn about the Coelg's position on closed communion, you can either A, watch all these 11 videos, or you can head over to our website, www.coelg.org, and click on the We Believe tab, and there you'll find our theological opinion on closed communion. This opinion is broken up into two categories, those who we admit to Holy Communion and those who we do not admit to Holy Communion. And with each section there is a list of ten types of people who either welcome to the altar or do not welcome to the altar. Throughout this series I've been going through this list of ten types of people comparing those who we welcome versus those who we do not welcome. Let us get underway with our final part of this eleven part series. Jesus instituted the sacrament of Holy Communion for his body, the church, for the forgiveness of their sins and for their unity with him and with each other. Therefore, those who should be admitted to the sacrament of Holy Communion are those who, 10, belong to the Christian faith. The Lord's Supper is for those who belong to the body of Christ. For the bread we break is a communion with the body of Christ and there is one bread and we who partake of the one bread belong to the one body. Holy Communion is only for those who belong to the Church of God. It is not possible to belong to another faith and to also receive Holy Communion, for one cannot partake of the table of demons and the table of the Lord. For there is one Lord and one faith, and only one name by which men can be saved. For Christ alone is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can be saved except through him. Thus, Jesus commands us, do not give dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls before pigs. Therefore, the sacrament of Holy Communion should be withheld from those who belong to another faith. Those who commune together should be of one mind and confession. The Lord's Supper is for those who belong to the body of Christ. For the bread we break is a communion with the body of Christ, and there is one bread, and we who partake of the one bread belong to the one body. Holy Communion is only for those who belong to the Church of God. We are not to be yoked with unbelievers. For what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness? Or what fellowship has light with dark? What accord has Christ with Beala? And what portion does a believer share with an unbeliever? What agreement has the temple of God with idols? It is not possible to belong to another faith and to also receive Holy Communion. For one cannot partake of the table of demons and the table of the Lord. For there is one Lord and one faith, and only one name by which men can be saved. For Christ alone is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can be saved except through him. And this then wraps up our 11 part series on closed communion. I hope you've enjoyed this series. If this is the first video you're checking out, it's a little weird that you're starting with the last video, but I'd encourage you to go back and watch all 11 videos in this series. I've been your host, Reverend Jake Zabel. Goodbye and God bless.